Welcome to this week's Archer's Choice. And this week we are doing what we've done a lot of, and it's actually one of the fastest growing aspects of all hunting. And what is it, Vic? Oh, I get to talk? No, oh. only now. Hog hunting. We're going to go head down south to Florida with Uncle Hop. Osceola Outfitters, where we always love to hog hunt. Oh, but yeah. But this it's time, just... we're doing a little spot and stalking. We're doing a little chasing them with the dogs. And RJ has his point in his hand this year. So, so I mean, what's really cool is, again, like we've always tried to stress, is what a great way to take the family out in the outdoors Get to go involved. hunting, fill the freezer, and have great experiences, right? That's right. And Lucky Logo this week is Rocky. Get rockified with Rocky. So look for the Rocky Logo. Then I'll show you with that. And now we should head out and go shoot us Let's some Let's go dogs. porkified. Porkified. Porkified, just like rockified, but... Never really sure what he's going to say. Look that one up in the dictionary. I'll tell you what, whether you get him or not, the spot that's talking hogs up down here with Oppie is a blast. Multiple opportunities. Just a good old time. Smack him in the shoulder, man. Right, kills him. I'm telling you, it kills him. You've got to get some. There's more out there. You come down here to Hoppies. I'll tell you right now, you cannot top this. We are spotting and stalking wild hogs. We got a beautiful hog down right here. I put that right on his shoulder. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable night. I mean, we had 20 hogs out here and some monsters. <laughs> this one, this was the first one. And Hoppy said, I think you said 22. Yep. And my shot's right here, going in. Yep. But like you said, you yeah, need- You hit it like right You there. said right on the shoulder. And you hit them there and they're done. Let you proof. This guy went- This is what deer hunters are scared of. They're scared of this on hogs. So they always aim back here. Pretty much what you've done here. Yes, sir. If you hit them here, it's over. Because there's nothing there but meat on the back of that leg. That's their. That's where their vitals are, way forward. So <clears throat> you got to stay off of this bone and you got to stay off of that bone. But boy, like a bear. There, you're done. Like a dang bear. That's good. Thanks, Hop. Yeah, All right. right. All right, let me help you. Go ahead. Come on.
Good morning. Why do we even try? <laughs> I too much coffee. We're, we're going to try to do a little hog hunting this morning. It's foggy, so we can see about 20 yards. Yeah. Ralph is behind the camera. But uh, there is hope. We have Vicky shooting. There is hope. What we're going to do is, I think, get down here and see if the bottle <laughs> I'm trying to drive with my headlights off in the fog and Ralph's got a light in my eye. Whoa! Crap! So things aren't looking real, real, real good right now. Remember what I told you? When you sit in the passenger side on the front seat, you're gate boy or gate girl. Remember that, so don't be so eager to jump in that front seat. They beat us around here, right here's their trail where they came out. There we go, He's going. Man. He's Come going. On. Come on. Bang. Cool. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> nice shot. My little shockwave just did what it needed to and put this down right there. I think he's, he's... Think he's done? I don't see him moving. I think he's dead. That was cool. That was awesome. I haven't shot a hog in my bay in a couple of years. It's a nice board, too. It's a nice board. <laughs> Good job, Dick. Thanks. Thanks. He's got some chompers on him. Some little chompers. He's a nice hog. Nice, nice, nice. He's a good eating hog, huh? Yeah. Get some, get Mike to make some, some sausage. sausage and bring him home. 
We can, oh. we can, hey Ralph, we can stick it on the smoker. Huh? Do some smoked pork at home. Nice, it's been a couple of years since I shot a hog in my bow. Yeah? Yeah, it has. I've shot it with the contender. I've shot oh, them with. <laughs> I've shot him with my 10 point, but I haven't shot him with my bow in a couple of years. So that was kind of cool. That was a good adrenaline. He's got some nice teeth, made a good shot, which is always nice. Like I said, he was, when he was broadside, I couldn't quite, because it's foggy and the grass was up, and I'm like, I don't want to hit his shoulder, you know, because he said tuck it in right here, but I couldn't see in the grass. And I go, you know, and as soon as he turned a little bit more broadside, I was just like, I'll take that quarter and away shot. Nice, and, and for him to fall right here in the open and not go in the Palmettos, we could probably drive your truck right here, can't we? Drive right to it. It's a mow trail right here. I did that on purpose just so we didn't have to trail him. Thanks, Ben Hop. Appreciate it. Yep, 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 yep. Thank yep. you. Woohoo! I got a piggy. So for my first try with the uh, hog bow kill, Hoppy decided to bring the dogs with and have a little fun, I guess. <laughs> it feels good to get out of the kennel, doesn't it? <laughs> Put her on hog mode. <laughs> we got all set up, we started going in. We were getting all thorned up. I felt like I was gonna break a string on my bow or mess something up. All right, RJ, we're close. We may only have one good opportunity. We're right on the edge of this big thicket we crawled through, but it's fairly open. So let's just ease up real slow like we're stalking in on it. And if it's a hog we wanna take, we're gonna take a shot at it, all right? Remember what I told you about the dogs? You you concentrate on the shot and wait for my signal to shoot, okay? Get, get right up against it. Wait, wait, wait. Oop, doggone it, boy, what a boar. Ooh. Rats, we need to get out of here. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Oop, doggone it, boy, what a boar. Rats, we need to get out of here. Just start, just turn around and go. They went to the northwest top. Yeah, they're going right back where we just come from. Two, they're 200 yards ahead of us, so we don't know where they're gonna end up. Vicki, if this happens again, you're staying home next time. This is Hoppy's, oh don't worry, only bag of Once the dogs finally got the hog bait up to a tree or wherever they were, we weren't really sure because we just heard them barking. The hog is sitting there with the dogs around him. hog runs off, I don't get a shot. We just didn't have the right angle. The hog was quartering to us. RJ didn't have a good angle to get an arrow in it. It broke and ran. So once the hog broke out of the big thick thorns, we finally got out behind them. The dogs did their job, they made the hog up. It was all working perfectly at that point, more or less. Come on, stop.
Stay with me, RJ. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Just let it down. Let it down. The hog just kind of ran a good, I'd say, 30 feet into the palmettos. And then just kind of stopped there, kind of stayed there. The dogs baited up more. Come on. Right here. Right here. They're all on him, but wait till I say shoot. Wait. Shoot it. Nice. Nice. And I got a good shot on it. Get another arrow. Get another arrow. Remember, you're up close. Aim low. Go ahead. It nice. turned around. I got another good shot on it. It just kind of fell there. And I mean, overall, it was an amazing hunt. Oh, yeah. Holy cow. Whoa, what a hog, buddy. <laughs> oh. I'm glad it was by the edge. Buddy, we've got a 200 plus pounder right here. <laughs> Dude, you killed a whopper of a hog here. What a big one. Nice shot. Nice. It was, I was rushing. I didn't realize what was really happening because I was so happy at that point. I was hugging Hoppy. I was giving my mom and dad a hug. They were all happy. It was just overall great hunt. The dogs did their job. Everybody did their job. It was awesome. What are we doing, Hoppy? Oh, yeah. Here it is. <laughs> Get him down there and wipe it in. Yeah. Here, wipe it on me. Here, get Whoa, this other one. <laughs> I ain't never done that. Yeah. <laughs> I told you it'll feel like somebody's putting a cigarette out on your arms. <laughs> but tomorrow it'll feel better. If it don't, I'll freaking shoot you. <laughs> what you do is put Clorox on these scratches. Straight yeah. Clorox. <laughs> and it burns like fire, doesn't it? <laughs> and it'll take the soreness right out of it. Because it just oh, ruined every nerve you have in there. The water feels good. It still burns. <laughs> that was not fun. You look like you got a truck with a walk yet. It's good now. I guess that cleans them out. I was asked Dr. Chris about the bat med that medicine. You know, that's what it's all about, going out there. It was, see, this, RJ was pumped. And that, I mean, get, getting the kids okay, involved. But it's great, but every time Hoppy says, oh, Vicky, come on, we're gonna take the dogs, we're gonna get some hogs, he tells me, it's gonna be it, close, it's gonna be less than 100 yards. And we walk through the nastiest of nastiness. I mean, cut up, bleeding, Jimmy If you remember, cat, years ago, I mean, Nani said it was a jungle. It was a jungle. <laughs> Those dogs went right into the hedge they weren't supposed to go into. Right. And all heck broke loose, it was kind of funny. I was bleeding pretty good. You, you were. If you happen to see the Lucky Logo, which was Rocky. Get rectified. You need to log on to archerschoice.com, click on the Lucky Logo button, fill out some information, someone's gonna win some great stuff from Rocky. Bunch of cool stuff. Bunch of stuff. Okay, so we wanna thank you for watching this week's show. We'll see you next week, same time. Same channel. Right here on, on the, the Archer's, Archer's Choice. Choice.